Hey, blessed morning, grateful guy. Um, really appreciate y'all tuning in this morning or today. I'm gonna dump, I'm gonna jump direct into the daily verse today as well. And it's Wednesday, so I'll be speaking about the topic, and I'll give you all the topic as I do my daily verse. The daily verse for the date of September seventh, two thousand twenty-two, derives from the book of Job, chapter thirty-one, verse one, and it states as follows: I made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think upon a maid? And again, it's from the book of Job, chapter 31, verse 1. And um, so again, this morning, like I said, it's Wellness Wednesdays. On uh, Wednesday, so this morning, I'll be speaking about the importance of mental, of mental health awareness. Um, I received this information from PineRest.org. This is the Christian Mental Health Services. Um, this article was written by uh, licensed medical professional, um, Jean, Jean Haltus, and again, this is the importance of mental health awareness. Um, so, mental health, mental illness affects nineteen percent of the adult population, forty six percent of the teenagers, and thirteen percent of children each year. So, mental illness affects nineteen percent of the adult population, forty six percent of teenagers, and thirteen percent of children each year. What exactly is a mental illness? A mental illness is a physical illness of the brain that causes disturbances in thinking, behavior, energy, or emotion that can make it difficult to cope with ordinary demands of life. Research is starting to uncover the complicated causes of these diseases, which can include genetics, brain chemistry, brain structure, experiencing trauma, and or having another medical condition like heart disease. The two most common mental health conditions are anxiety orders, I mean anxiety disorders, excuse me. More than 18% of adults each year struggle with some type of anxiety disorder, including post-traumatic stress disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and specific phobias. Mood disorders. Mood disorders such as depression and bipolar depression affect nearly 10% of adults each year and are characterized by difficulties in regulating one's mood. So the two most common mental health um, conditions are anxiety disorders and mood disorders. What can you do to help? Although the general perception of mental illness has improved over the past decades, studies show that stigma against mental illness is still powerful, powerful, excuse me, largely due to media, stereotypes, and lack of education, and that people tend to attach negative stigmas to mental health conditions at a far higher rate than others do diseases and disabilities such as cancers, diabetes, or heart disease. So um, these are some ways we can help out um, individuals who we might feel like have mental um, illness or even yourself, things like that. So um, showing individuals respect and acceptance removes a significant barrier to successfully coping with their illnesses. Having people see you as an individual and not as your illness can make the biggest difference for someone who is struggling with their mental health. Advocating with our, within our own circles of influence helps ensure these individuals have the same rights and opportunities as other members of your church, school, and community. Learn more about mental health allows us to provide helpful support to those affected in our families and communities. And um, these are some resources that we can check out for some uh, great resources for mental health news and information. Um, they have the National Institute of Mental Health, Mental Health America, and the Pine Rest Mental Health Resources. And um, so again, and I will put in one fact before I head out. So each year, approximately 44 million American adults will experience a serious me mental health condition. Less than half will seek treatment due to stigma and discrimination. So, yeah, man, again, this is the importance of mental health awareness and um, just things to be looking out for. One, if it's in your own self. Again, being open to, you know, helping other individuals see their self for who they are. Stop being so judgmental when we're speaking to people and, when, and stop being nasty to individuals when we're speaking to people because we don't know their mindsets. And, you know, we should, we should 
every time we speak to somebody or every time we encounter somebody, you know, we should leave positive, positive, positive. Because, again, we don't know everybody's walk in their life. Everybody walk is different. You know, I mean, that's what make our lives unique. You know, we all go through, go through different things and and different things affect us different ways. So, um, again, that was this is my my Wellness Wednesday topic today, the importance of mental health awareness. Um, so just make sure you, you know you check on your loved ones, your friends, yourself, you know, all those good things. And um, until next time, y'all, I really appreciate the love and support. Continue to boost me up on um, Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbay. Y'all check me out. Again, appreciate the love and support. Send me some emails, send me some feedback, leave me some reviews on my platforms. You can email me at gratefulgappodcast at gmail.com. Again, that is gratefulgappodcast at gmail.com. Um, y'all, y'all be easy. It's hump day. Enjoy the rest of the week. Let's conquer it. And y'all be easy. Peace.